victims in a triple homicide are suing the apartment complex where they were killed. In September of last year, Kaylin Matthews, Keontae Johnson, and Jaquan Mitchell were shot and killed at the JTB apartments on Jacksonville's South Side. Each of their families filing wrongful death lawsuits, arguing the complex was negligent. Our Andrew Badillo is on your side tonight. He's joining us live outside the JTB apartments. And Andrew, I know you spoke with the attorney representing the families. Let's talk about what they're seeking tonight. Yeah, Anthony, damages and accountability. The victim's family saying that the shooting could have been prevented if the company that owns and operates the apartment complex provided proper security. It's been nearly a year since 24-year-old Keontae Johnson, 23-year-old Jaquan Mitchell, and 3-year-old Kaylin Matthews were shot and killed at the JTB apartments. These three people were visiting the property that night. They weren't doing anything wrong. Kim Wald is representing the families of each of the victims, all three suing the property owner and manager, saying the deaths could have been prevented if there was proper security. They did not provide reasonable security measures. There were broken gates, there weren't security guards, and if those measures would have been put into place, we wouldn't be here today. At the time of the shooting, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office said a dispute in the common area of the apartment complex led to the shooting and that the victims were there possibly for the sale of a dog. We also know through public records requests that this property did have a history in the years and months leading up with burglaries and armed and aggravated batteries. They had problems with thefts. They had problems with windows being smashed and broken into cars in the parking lot. In the year leading up up to the shooting, JSO's crime map shows several thefts and burglaries in the area of the apartment complex. In a statement of First Coast News, the company that operates the apartments said they would not comment on pending litigation and the security of residents and visitors is one of their top priorities. The loss for all three of these families is just absolutely catastrophic. You know, for them, there's no happy and birthday anymore. There's no Merry and Christmas. And tonight, the family is also urging anyone with information about the suspects in these killings to reach out to JSO. We did reach out to JSO after hours about suspect information and for calls to service to the JTV apartments in the last year leading up to the killings. Reporting on Jacksonville Southside, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.